What's up, Internet? We've been tracking the prices of CPUs and GPUs for real data. Kung panahon na ba bumili ng CPU or ng GPU. Pina process na rin namin yung data para mas madaling sundan. And all of that can be seen dito sa Google Sheet natin below. But if you're wondering, saan yung mga usual retailers na you're familiar with, tinago ko yung mga pangalan nila under aliases from science fiction. Kaya nandun si Wedge, nandun si Roy, etc. The names are fake, but the data is real. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes na CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Actually, the major news for PriceWatch this month is that if you're in the market for a high-end GPU, you might want to buy now. Not because the prices are good, pero kasi medyo humihigpit yung supply natin. For example, the 7900 XTX of AMD, I haven't been able to find it from any of our suppliers. Some of the brands carrying 4080s are sold out. We are expecting resupplies, but no ET on when they're getting here. And you'll notice even on the price list, only one store has 7900 XTX. If you're looking for a 4090, you're probably still pretty good. Yung 4080, depende on what brand you're looking for. 7900 XTX, yun nga, there's at least one major store that still has it. But even on the supplier side, everybody's out. I can't find any other major stores that have it as well. So if you're thinking about the 7900 XTX, you might want to pull the trigger habang may kilala ka pa na may on stock. And with that, it is not a great time to buy overall. Prices are a bit weird. So for this latest episode, slight price increase for the 1650, around 800, sorry, around 100 pesos or so. Slight price decrease for the 3050, slight price decrease for the 3060, big price jump <laughs> for the 4060. So from 18,500 or so, naging 20,000. Relatively a big price jump, almost roughly 8% or so. I think what's happening here is that suppliers are offering 4060s at a good price, but stores still have stock of the 3060. And the 4060 should be cheaper than the 3060, even though the 3060 is slower. So, kung if you're a store, paano mo ibabenta yung luma mong hardware na nabili mo at a more expensive rate when there is a replacement model which is cheaper and faster? Economics-wise, I think what happened here was that the shops, you know, there needs to be some kind of price differentiation between the 3060 and the 4060. The 3060 should be cheaper than the 4060. Kaya you can see here a little price gap now. Last month, mas mura pa nga yung 4060. You can still find stores with below 20,000 4060s, for example, like Hardware Sugar, but the average price now seems to be slightly over 20K. With the average price of a 3060, 12 gigabytes, that's the only model of 3060 that we follow and record, is at around 19,000. But you know, even for a 1,000 peso difference, I would go with a 4060. It is significantly faster than a 3060. It does have DLSS 3, so there are features on the newer model, which the older model doesn't have. And price to performance, 1,000 pesos, you know, seems worth it. Some people would argue that we do need the larger memory size of the 3060 12 gigabyte version. I'm still a little bit on the fence, you know, if does it matter 4068 gigabytes versus 3060 12 gigabytes when the 4060 has been shown to be faster than even the 3060 12 gigabytes so my personal take from that is we would recommend just getting a 4060 kung nagtatalo ka dun sa 
price point and sa cards na yun. 4070, slight price drop. 4080, no price change. And a nice small price drop relatively for the 4090, which is still a bonkers over 100,000 pesos. Although there has been a slight price drop. Also, a significant price drop for the 6500 XT. No data anymore about the 6700 XT. And in general, I'm having trouble finding data for AMD GPUs. Even the four major retailers that we track, wala na silang stock. So I'm thinking maybe next month if we'll migrate to following the 7000 series na exclusively. Because we already have the 7900 XTX now, which is at an average price, slight price decrease of 65,790. The 7900 XTX, the competitor on the NVIDIA side is the 4080. You'll notice though the big price difference. The 4080 is at 83K and the 7900XTX is 65K. So say what you want about maybe sometimes the buggy drivers of AMD that they're not really trying as hard as NVIDIA and all of those things. But at least price-wise, they are trying to fill that kind of market space that NVIDIA is leaving behind with just charging exorbitant prices. And for CPUs, the 7950X is higher actually. The highest we've seen it in a while. <laughs> Since last February. Slight price increase for the 7800X3D, one of the best CPUs you can get for gaming right now. Slight price increase also for the 7600X. Not a great look for AMD. You'd want the 7000 series to be kind of going down. Especially sort of like the entry-level model, 7600X, 7600. But there was actually a price increase, although to be fair, malit lang naman yung increase. Slight price increase also for the 5600X, which is still a pretty good CPU. 5600G continues its price descent. And we are using that CPU more and more now for even work builds, for builds intended for work plus light gaming. The 5600G is a good all around workhorse, um, and it's good to see that the price is dropping. And no price at all that I could find for the Ryzen 5 3600. So maybe not surprising that the stores have stopped carrying it. Although personally, my CPU now is still a Ryzen 7 3700X. So from the 3000 series pa rin. So still a lot of people rocking the 3000 series. Maybe not a lot of people buying them brand new anymore. 3900K. No price change. Slight price increase. Significant for the 13600K. And then the 12500 is the same. So really nothing major for this episode except that, yun nga, as I mentioned at the start, if you want high-end graphics cards, if it's a 4080 or the 7900 XTX, you should pull the trigger now or be prepared to wait maybe six weeks or so. Just rounding out the episode with a per shop deep dive. So as always, we have cloaked the names of the different shops we follow under different names. We don't use the pricing data from Hardware Sugar. The names are consistent, so this sheet goes back all the way to last year. So you can see Wedge's prices from August 22 and so on and so forth. Wedge saw some price increases and then a price decrease for the 4090. Roy had some better or more price decreases. So blue is price went down, which is good for us. Red is price went up, which is bad for us. Joker, not much change except for the 4080. A lot of movement here with Wash. Wash was like, okay, I'm going to make some GPUs lower, but I'm also going to make some GPUs higher. And Wash is interesting because they, they are one of the well-known stores, especially for enthusiasts, but they don't have any AMD cards that I could find. Neither did Joker. Sabagay. Neither did Joker and neither did Roy. So AMD has been trying to sell off the excess inventory of the 6,000 cards and maybe it has pushed enough because they are hard to find now. We were selling some before, but now our supplier is also out of stock. On to CPUs, not much price difference really. So echoing what happened last month, we noted that prices are actually going up last month. And you should have bought like two months ago. Currently, prices are still a bit wonky. They're kind of moving sideways. So not a lot of significant price increases or decreases. Although the 5600G is looking pretty good. Of course, if you're enthusiast, that won't really appeal to you. But that is a good CPU for a lot of people out there. So just scrolling down, you can see that Wash had price decreases for the 5600X, 5600G. Also price decrease for Joker. And for the 3900K, 
Although Washes 3900K is significantly cheaper at 35,500 compared to 37,150 and just between like these four different stores, which do have large inventory, which are followed by a lot of people, you notice that there are significant price changes or differences between the items. So if price is really your consideration, it really does pay or you really benefit from shopping around and asking around. That being said, of course, there is there are other considerations to where you buy, whether it's close to you, whether you trust them, whether their warranty is good. So price isn't the end-all and be-all that a lot of people assume the Philippine market to be. But for some people, it really is quite high as a determining factor. And you really will save some money if you shop around. Different shops have different prices talaga. So general advice, if you can wait, I would wait. We will probably see some nice prices over the Christmas season. Or, you know, the upcoming Burr months. We've started September, but it's just the first. Or We're just dipping our toes into the Christmas market. We are also expecting the 7800 XT and the 7700 XT to be coming out soon. But our suppliers cannot tell us when they're coming. Personally, I have it at around four to six weeks. That's just my gut guess. But we don't have any official confirmation yet when they're coming to the Philippines. As always, you can access this sheet anytime. It's available 24-7. The link is in the pinned comment down below. It's also in the video description. So we only do this episode once a month. But if you want to buy a GPU and you're wondering if the price is good, even if it's not listed here, at least this list, which is continuously updated, can give you a ballpark figure on what to expect for GPU and CPU prices in the Philippines. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent table management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.